Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today we are going to see that how we can use Pabli Connect to automate your Google Sheets. So in this video, we are going to see some amazing automation with Google Sheet and we are going to create these amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now we are going to connect Google Sheet with some amazing application inside Pabli Connect and how I'm going to use Pabli Connect to create these amazing automation. For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can use Pabli Connect to automate Google Sheets. So if you are looking to simplify your workflow and save tons of time, then you have come to the right place. Today we are diving into how you can use Pabli Connect to automate your Google Sheet like a pro. I'm going to show you step by step how to set up seamless automation between your favorite apps and Google Sheet. So whether you are managing data, tracking sales, maintaining marketing or organizing project, Pabli Connect can help you it all effortlessly. Imagine automatically updating your Google Sheet whenever you receive a new lead, a customer places an order or a team member completed a task. With Pabli Connect, possibilities are endless. And the best part is that you don't need any coding skills to get started. In today's video, we will cover some amazing automation that you can create with Google Sheet in Pabli Connect. So here, this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and you can get here by searching pabli.com slash connect. So this is the landing page and here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then you just have to click on this sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we are going to create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here I'm going to show you some amazing automation that I have created with the help of Google Sheet in Pabli Connect. So here this is my first automation and in this automation I'm going to send WhatsApp messages from my Google Sheet automatically. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that how you can connect Google Sheet as a trigger with Pabli Connect. So for connecting Google Sheet with Pabli Connect, we need to use Webhook URL and this Webhook URL is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheet and Pabli Connect. So for connecting these two accounts, we need to follow all these instructions and first we need to copy this Webhook URL and now I'm going to take you to a Google Sheet. So here, this is a random Google Sheet that I'm going to use to show you that how you can connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So for connecting this spreadsheet, what we need to do is we need to go to extensions and we need this particular extension of Pabli Connect Webhooks. And if you don't have this particular extension, then what you need to do is you need to go to add-ons and you need to open get add-ons and it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we need to search for our extension that is Pabli Connect Webhook. And here you're gonna see your extension. So we need to install this particular extension and I have already installed this. So I'm going to close this. I will go back to extensions and I will go back to Pabli Connect Webhooks. And here I need to first go to initial setup. And here I can see I have these two tabs, Webhook URL and trigger column. So first I need to give my Webhook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I need a trigger column. Here in my spreadsheet, I have this last data entry column that is column E. So here my trigger column will be column E. And what trigger column is, the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the Webhook URL. So as my trigger column is column E, and now whenever a data will be filled in that particular column, then automatically the data of that whole row will be sent to Pabli Connect. Now here I have filled all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on submit. And here my setup is configured successfully. So I have successfully connected the spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to close this. And here I need to do one more thing. I need to go back to extensions. I need to go to Pabli Connect Webhooks and I need to enable this option of send on event. Now, after enabling this option, what is going to happen is that as I'm going to add new data in a new row in my spreadsheet, then automatically the data of that row will be sent to Pabli Connect. So this is the step-by-step -step instruction of how you can connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect in your trigger. 
Now I'm going to show you my first automation that I've created by using Pabli Connect and Google Sheet. So here this is my first automation and here my objective is that whenever I'm going to add a detail of a new customer in my Google Sheet then automatically by using all those details I want to send lots of messages to my customer. So here what I've done is that I have first set up my trigger and in trigger I have used Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I've set up my action step and here for sending the message on WhatsApp, I have used WhatsApp Cloud API as my action application and my action even was send template message. So now whenever I'm going to add the detail of a new customer, then automatically I'm going to send an automated WhatsApp message to that particular customer. So this is my first automation. Now I'm going to show you my second automation. So this is my second automation and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to send bulk SMS from my Google Sheet. So suppose if I have the data of all my customers in my Google Sheet and now what I need to do is I need to send a bulk SMS to all my customer and I want this to happen only once. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to first set up my trigger and in my trigger I'm going to use schedule by Pabli. So by using schedule by Pabli I'm going to schedule my workflow for once and now I'm going to set up my automation. So here I'm going to set up my action step and here I'm going to use Google Sheet as my action application and get rows will be my action event. So by using that particular action event, I'm going to get the data of all my customer from my Google Sheet and I'm going to receive my customer detail in an array format and in advanced format. So for processing that array, I'm going to use iterator by Pabli and in the last for sending the SMS, I'm going to use Tilio. So here I can send bulk SMS to all my customers that I have the data in my Google Sheet automatically by using Google Sheet and Tilio. So here this is my second automation. And by using this automation, I can send bulk SMS to all my customers that I have the data in my Google Sheet. Now let me take you to my third automation. And here this is my third automation that suppose I'm promoting my business on Facebook lead ads and from that I'm receiving a lot of leads. Now what I need to do is I need to nurture my leads and I need to manage my leads. So for that what I'm going to do is I need to keep a database of all my leads. So here I want that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead from Facebook lead ads that automatically I want to add those lead details in my Google Sheet so that I can never miss any of my lead and I can manage my leads in a better way. So here for setting up this automation what I have done is I have first set up my trigger and my trigger application was Facebook lead ads and my trigger event was new lead instant. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Google Sheets and my action event was add new row. So this is how I can successfully set up this particular automation and in this automation whenever I'm going to receive a new Facebook lead ad lead then automatically I'm going to add that lead detail in my Google Sheet and I can automatically update my Google Sheet with my lead details. Now let me take you to my fourth automation. Now here with this automation what we are going to do is we are going to automatically generate posts for blogger using AI and our Google Sheet. So here what we need to do is we need to first keep the data of all the blog topic that we need to generate post on. So in our Google Sheet we are going to keep all that data and now whenever we are going to add a new topic in our Google Sheet then automatically we are going to use the detail of that topic and first what we are going to do is we are going to use OpenAI to first generate the image for that particular topic and after generating the image we are going to again use OpenAI for generating the blog. And as we are going to get that image and the blog on that particular topic that we have in our Google Sheet, then we are going to automatically create a post in Google Blogger. So with this automation, we are going to automatically generate posts and blogs for our Google Blogger account. And similarly, by using this automation, we can create posts for all our social media accounts like Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and WordPress. Now let me take you to my last automation. That is for automatically send training certificates on WhatsApp with Google Sheet and Google Slide. So here in this automation what we need is that we need to first have a data of all our student that has completed the training and in our Google Sheet we are going to add the data of all students that has completed the training. Now as we are going to add the data of all students then automatically we are going to capture that detail and we are going to use those details to first create a certification from a template in Google Slides. And we are going to fill all the detail of our student that we had in our Google Sheet in Google Slide to create the certificate. And as we are going to create that certificate, then automatically we are going to use Google Drive to make that file shareable. And as we are going to make that file shareable, we can use any application like WhatsApp, like WhatsApp, email, Slack to send that certificate to our student. 
So with this automation, what we need to do is we need to first set up our trigger where we are going to use Google Sheets and in our trigger event, we are going to use new or updated spreadsheet row. Then in our actions tab, we are going to use Google Slides and here my action event is going to be create presentation from template and in the last, we are going to use Google Drive and here my action event is going to be share a file with anyone and after this, you can use any action application where you want to send your certificates to your students. So this is my last automation and with this automation, we, we can automatically generate training certificate and we can share that with our student. So this is how I can use Google Sheet to create all these amazing automation and with all these amazing automation, I can save a lot of time and I can generate more sales. I can manage data in a better way. And now I don't need to do all my repetitive tasks and I can use that time in a better way. So if you want to learn how you can create all these amazing automation, then for that, you need to check out our YouTube channel where we have all the tutorials of all these amazing automation and you can see step by step tutorial of how you can create all these amazing automation. And also I'm going to add all the workflow links of all these amazing automation in my description. So you can check it out from there. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.